in the last lesson we were discussing uh, like we were actually solving question not discussing something and um, we left these four questions let's solve them one by one i hope you have done them already so one yes sir hi ben so define velocity velocity is rate of change of disappointment or displacement displacement now v equals to speed equals to kp over rho <clears throat> and and here but because this is not an equation that you already know and even if there is an equation that you know examiner is bound to explain every single variable that he uses in the equation as he says speed v pressure p density rho that means this is pressure this is density this is speed where k is a constant that has no unit now use data to determine the value of k first of all in this kind of question we are supposed to make k the subject of formula so if this is the equation to start and k is already inside the square root sign what what should be the first thing we do we take square on both sides that should become v square equals to k p over rho now we have to make k the subject of formula k will be equal to v square rho over p let's put the values in p is 3.3 into 10 to the power 2 and there is a square on the top multiply by rho which is 1.29 and luckily all the units are correct divided by pressure which is 9.9 .9 into 10 to the power 4 now let's put everything in calculator and see what do we get mm. there is 3.3 square multiplied by 1.29 divided by what was the value 9.9 1.419 so it is 1.419 into 10 to the power 4 divided by 10 to the power 4 that will cancel with one another so k will be 1.42 now <clears throat> he It wants us to find out uh, the value of k with the absolute uncertainty and appropriate number of significant figures. So he wants us to properly find out what is the error in the value of k. Now to find value of k, we have to see what kind of data he has given us. Oh, he has given us percentage uncertainty, not the absolute uncertainty, but percentage uncertainty. What do we do with percentage uncertainty? percentage uncertainty of k equals to 2 times percentage uncertainty of v plus percentage uncertainty of rho divided by percentage uncertainty of pressure which is 2 so i think if we solve it we should get um, 6 plus 4 10 divided by 2 5% so that means 1.419 plus minus 5% let's find out 5% of uh, this 95027 0.0 
I guess into five divided by hundred. Zero point zero seven nine zero nine zero point zero seven zero nine five. That means that final value is 1.419. No, not final value. Actually, the raw answer, I, I call it 7095. And we have to round off this thing for one significant figure. So that will become 0 0.07 plus minus. And this tells us the only significant figure over here is the second, second decimal place. So that means we we are supposed to round off the Mayet quantity or the calculated quantity in the second decimal place, which is here. The next number is more than one, oh, so more than five. So we will increase the one by one, 1.42. So we have 1.42 plus minus 0 0.07. So what's your answer exactly like this? Yes, sir. Good. No difference, whatever in the values. So, here we go. Mm, the diameter D of a cylinder is measured this. And the percentage uncertainty is given and, and calculate the absolute uncertainty. So it should be simple. You have to calculate 1.6%, 0 0.0125 into 1.6 divided by 100. So 4, 0 0.0125 into 0 0.4, 0 point, uh, actually it is 20, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it is 0 0.0002. Okay, and only one significant figure should be there. The cylinder in the stand on a horizontal surface, the pressure P exerted on the surface by the cylinder is given by this. Measure the weight W of the cylinder. The measured weight of W of the cylinder is this. Calculate pressure P. So P equals to 4 into 0 0.38 divided by pi and the diameter was 0 0.0 <clears throat> 0 0.0125 square. So Four times point three eight divided by five divided by point zero one two five square three zero nine six five. So we have it. 3100. In two significant figures, this is the pressure that is acting. Determine the absolute uncertainty in the value of P. So, absolute uncertainty. We only know the percentage uncertainties. Percentage uncertainty of P equals to. Two point eight plus one point six multiplied by two. Why did I multiply one point six with two? Because there was 
a square of d and remember this four and this pi they don't participate in the makings of uh errors or uncertainty or the unit so they, they won't do anything over here so 3.2 plus 2.8 is six percent so 3096.52 plus minus six percent so let's find out six percent of this thing One eighty-five point eight. Good. One eighty-five point seven nine one two. Now it means the raw answer should be three zero nine six point five plus minus one eight five point seven nine one two. But that is absurd. We cannot give these these many significant figures. We have to round off the error to one significant figure. So when we round off error to one significant figure, can anybody tell me what should be the value 1.85 in one same figure will be? Exactly, it will be 200. So if this is 200, where should I round off the value? In hundreds. Okay, what is the number at the hundreds position? As zero. So this is where I am supposed to round off the quantity. So it will be three, one. Yes, sir. Uh, and, oh, he only asked for, we, we overdid this. Actually, he only asked, asked for the uncertainty. There is 200. Now, define density. Density is? Mass over volume. Good. Mass over volume. The mass of something is given like this. <clears throat> Calculate the value of D. Okay, this is going to be a little mathematical question over here. Yeah, not much of physics, it's just putting the values in and getting the answer out. And first of all, you have to rearrange the formula as well. So the formula is arranged for M right now. We have to arrange it for D. So see. Can I write it like pi d cube rho equals to 6m and then d cube is 6m over pi rho and d will be cube root of 6m over pi rho. Oh, 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 I made a mistake. My, I made a mistake. This will not be a square root. This will be a cube root. So, d equals to <clears throat> 6 into m is 7.5 divided by pi into 8100. cube root. So he's giving us only one mark for this thing. Zero point one. Cube root. Six into seven point five divided by pi. Divided by eighty one hundred zero point one two zero nine. Uh, can anybody confirm if the answer is correct or not? Yes, sir. Zero point one two zero nine. 
Good, 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 good. And uh, the final thing is same that uh, determine D with its absolute uncertainty to approximate number of significant figures. Okay, now, um, first of all, we will find percentage uncertainty of D. And you know why I'm going for the percentage uncertainty? Again, the reason is that examiner has given us the percentage uncertainty. Percentage uncertainty of D will be five plus four multiplied by one by three. Now, why did I multiply it with one by three? Why, why didn't I just add four and five? The reason is there is a power of one over three on, on all the quantities. So that is why it will be 3%. So we got 0 0.1209 plus minus 3%. Let's calculate the absolute uncertainty. That will be 0.1209, I guess. Now, it will be 0. 1209 plus minus 0 0.003627. Now we have to first round off this thing to one single figure. That will be 0. 0.00 and this right. number is three. Next number is more than five. So this will become four plus minus. Now this will control where we should round off the actual quantity. So the only significant figure in the error is the third decimal place. So we are supposed to cancel, like we should round off the quantity at third decimal place, which is here. So it will be 0 0.121. 0 0.121 plus minus 0 0.004. Very nicely done. Okay. So should we go ahead? Yeah. Why did I send this question twice? So here we are done with this. Okay. Now today we also have to start a new chapter, which is um, kinematics. Okay, I will be.